Hello everyone, Message Players here, back at it again. How are you doing today? I am playing The Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. We are in Tucson, I think. I think that's right. I am fighting Goliath. Who's got a pretty swanky helmet made of a beer barrel. Can I just... Can I get five minutes, please? Fuck me, I need... Why, why isn't he, um, Quenin? Dude. Drink some Tony Owl or something. What the fuck? Tell you what, fight them dickheads. Hold on. Quen up. Jesus, he hasn't got a sword right. What is going on? How do I drink the Tony wine? There you go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, the sheep's not gonna make it, but... Fuck my life! Tell you what. Let's get the crossbow back on. This dude is relentless, man. I don't like how he just attacks me solely. I think if we've got other characters in play, there should be a little bit of... It just makes sense that he would fight them as well. I'm not talking about making the game piss easy, but come on. It would just make it believable. Okay, here we go. eating candy now. I think I've eaten like 30 slices of raw meat. Dude, come on! Get down, get down, get down! Here we go. Critical hit of one. Amazing! That's the one that did him in. Get some of the raspberry juice on the go. This is the funny image I have because when I think of Witcher and I'm fighting, I just think, wow, imagine a painting where he's eating a chicken sandwich during the battle. Make that into one of your cards for your bloody Gwen game. Him eating the chicken sandwich during the battle with his sword in one hand. Would you piss off, please, sir? He is still some more food, I think. Here we go. Get the oh, juggernaut, bitch! Get down! Here we go, he's dead now. You're dead. Dude, just die. And where did you get your helmet? Big beast. Tackling it single handed? None too wise. And that was the beast. Neither is love born of wisdom, Richard. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This for my trophy, sucker. sir, is yours. What did you call me? I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. 
put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hurt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another I was chasing a giant! If the, the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. Jesus. We'll meet later. They seem the quite pomp and circumstance, yeah. I think that's one of the points. They're just bigging up this woman. Her graceful magnificence, her. Uh, The thing, uh... Right. What, how are we doing for food? Can I have your horse? Look at that thing. Mine's naked, man. Oh, hold on. I didn't loot it. Get off. Holy shit. Ooh, got a doll, yeah, right. There's some blurring when you pan around. I must have I must have forgot about that, but that's I don't know if that's just on the expansion. But the game shouldn't just go blurry because you're trying to pan around. That's actually making me feel a bit seasick. Kid, his kid. That said something, but I was galloping, so it clicked over it. A disappointing thing about Witcher is that um, there's no morality system, so you can just walk in people's houses and steal their shit, and they're kind of idiots around it. That is one thing Skyrim does better. It, it it was a risk, you know. And if you are like really brick the money, is that the right word? If you are really skint, you actually needed to steal stuff, so you had to be like really cautious about it, because. The whole town could just start chasing you, trying to kill you. It did make an element of it quite, you know, exciting. And here it's just like, oh, just take my shit, Gerald. Yeah, yeah, just take everything. Ignite the torch. But yeah, I mean, there's so much material here. Rich material. I don't know how you could mess this up and make a, make a bad TV show. But I think Netflix, they've got it in them. They're not too good with second seasons, like I said. Ooh, nice. Nick to Seashell. What am I looking for? Use your Witcher senses to search the riverbank. How do I do that again? Must be sunk about back here. They wouldn't have made this area unless you were meant to go here. What are you doing? Suspicious looking mofo. What do you want? Long live Duquesa Anna Henrietta. <sighs> Stop it. She's just a woman. The thing it's like I don't mind the queen and the royalties, but I wouldn't call them my like your majesty. Uh, I don't believe in that. I do think, oh, they make money for tourism, but I don't owe you anything, and I'm not going to respect you. I'll treat you like a person. I'll be like, hi, you love, but I ain't going to say your supreme, you know, deity. Fuck off. Are you going to call me that? No? Okay, well, what's the difference between me and you? You, you plopped out of a, you know, vagina just like me. But apparently you you are you had a nice name. Mm -hmm. Fuck Let's that. I'm trying to. Anything. What do you think I'm doing? Uh, every time you go near the swamps, these blue man group looking people come out and try and kill you. Every damn time. Got guests. Careful. 
And these are new. Now these look like some kind of Stranger Things. These look horrible. That's a good design. The design of beasts in this game are just phenomenal. Oh god, there's always something like that in there. I'm sure these aren't in the main game. I'm 90% certain. But there's always... There is something that explodes. There's always a gassy one. Is there anything in nature that explodes just before it dies? I know we have blowfish. But... Every game has this thing where if it's a character's near death... Like villains, if they're near death, they'll just explode on you. And these things have got little spikes, man. Right, we're good. Oh, I got lots of chicken legs. There you go. Let's just nip this one in the bud. Go and explode. You got this one. You got it, mate. Keep going. You got it. Right, get away. Here we go. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Oh, shit. Um What was I saying? Uh I played Horizon Zero Dawn this year. I do like that game. And it's probably gonna be I am gonna create a top ten list of my favourite games this year. It's probably gonna be on there. But I've got a bone to pick with how similar to Witcher 3 it is. Now I know the developers are friendly with with each other. They, they like draw fan art with the characters crossing over. That's all cool. They're really friendly about it. But it's like... You know, I feel like what you called Natasha Kills off that uh, X Factor. Like... You've got to respect any other person's brand and... IP and copyright and I just I'm looking at you like you Norman Bates But seriously like don't just lift Wholesale You know the detective vision mode and the way the missions are structured and the following the footprints and the clearing together What's going on like? Jesus, it's, it's very It's very shamelessly copying of how the Witcher three plays and it does it well it's not it's not better than witcher 3 unfortunately it falls short the weird thing about horizon zero dawn is that it sets up this really fascinating world but then it kind of it squanders a bit of the maybe not maybe the law is the right word whereas when i had seen about 40 percent i wasn't actually curious to keep looking because it just felt like I can't find any interest in weapons. There's no uh, interesting like clothes and armor. And I want to get out of here because I think I've went too far. What am I meant to be looking for? Fuck off. Where's the other dude gone? Oh shit, the dots are on my map. That's where I need to be. Right. Um, yeah, just, just chill. Uh, we all like Witcher 3, but that doesn't mean you you should just make a game that's exactly like it. And I do like Aloy, that's a pretty cool character. I don't really like how they made that completely sexless. I felt like that was a boring decision. That was probably like... Boots, <sighs> probably because it was made by maybe a bunch of men and they were just worried about hey, if we do this wrong it's going to be a lot more hassle than if we just don't do it at all. So instead of making a game, a, a, a character that might have been like badly sexualized they just made a boringly kind of uh, straight <laughs> like she was just there was these hot guys, and it was like, wow, wouldn't you want to flirt a little? Wouldn't they flirt a little? And all of the conversations were like, interview kind of strict. It was like, there's no personality going on here. 
The thing about Geralt is at least he's he's cocky and he's proud of himself and he just flirts and tries to fuck everything and you know the women are always like the women are well written in this game they're really they're all strong personality strong willed they're like he's equals they're very they're very good counterparts to him here we go just trying to trying to word this the best way out of the water and cut the mutilated body free I'm sure in one of my earlier videos, I, I worded something like I was admiring guys' bodies in a swimming pool and I was just thinking on that conversation, I was like, oh Jesus. That's not, I don't even know what my point was. I think I was trying to say, seeing a, a ripped guy is like, that's more unusual than seeing a kind of toned woman. And I think it is. But uh, that's just my local gym. I'm in England. I'm sure an American gyms is different. What was my point? Yeah, so they made a lie very kind of... Frankly, she's just a boring character. Even if she was just kind of discovering what sexuality is that would be more interesting than just hello sir what do you need well Eli, i am in a bit of a pickle my uh, village is being attacked by 30 of these you know pond scum and i need them killed please okay that sounds like a mission i can do you know it was like every cutscene was like that i was like jesus come on Soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? That's it. Like this bit is in Horizon Zero Dawn to a T. You actually turn on this kind of filtered vision, which is well explained, but still, you turn it on, you look for things, the glow, you follow them, and it's like, fuck me, you've completely ripped this off. And you know, Arkham Knight does it, but it's like, come on, we know what Horizon Zero Dawn was going for. It plays exactly like Witcher 3. Jesus. What? Dude. Dude. Dude, look at that! What? The, it's glowing! Okay. I'm gonna need to get up. Hold on. What am I looking for? Okay. Am I meant to be following these? Swimming underwater in any game is usually just a shit show, and it's a shit show here. me why why have swim and loot the same button i hate overlapping buttons lego any lego game triangle is every fucking button in the game like open menu get in car spawn car press switch and if there's two of them things in the same vicinity just god help you what am I looking for? Search the net for clues. Jesus. Is that the phone? Right? Okay. Well, we got a hanky. So, Kerchief, monogrammed DLC. DLC. Oh, come on. Is that an inside joke? I know Witcher 3 is amazing for its inside jokes. There's a ton of culture references in this, pop culture references. Fight Club, Pulp Fiction, uh, Monty Python. We know that. Current brought the body here. 
Whoops got caught in the nets. There's no way a DLC isn't an intentional need to find out where intentional kind of joke here before it starts to decompose. When this is I'm playing DLC. must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Fucking hell. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It can Download of content! It can it be? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. Fucking hell, you wanted my help, didn't you? We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to help you, but, you know, you you're going to have a little cry about this handkerchief. Back to Tucson. Follow Milton to the inn and ask if anyone saw where the body was taken. Well, why do I have to follow him? Milton de Pirac Piran. No rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. I mean, it's going to be an expensive show if they do make it. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. And, um, each other by our first names in it's going to be centered Perfect. more around one person. So, it's, it's going to be interesting. I think I should read the books to give a fair... A, a fair kind of... A fair comment on how well the show, you know, might turn out. I, like... I don't read a lot. So... Like, uh, I started reading Game of Thrones. I think I got up to book three. I, do, I like Stephen King. Could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Not else, Sir the Peyrak Peyrin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today. On account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrach Peyrin in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Um, hmm. Should I be a dick for no reason? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir the Peyrach Peyrin. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask him, please, or we shall be here till winter. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were gallivanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. 
Didn't notice her walk in either. Countless Ninnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on you, even before we departed for Venice. I'm to play the hair during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Okay, follow me. Oh, well, I've done that. Go to Corvo Bianco and examine the body kept in its cellar. What's in the, works to what the what, What's in the bag, traveler? <laughs> okay. I do want to play some Gwent. Ooh, let's get some of these. Talk to normal woman. What the fuck? Dude. How fares your head? Whoa! How fares you? Whoa! Right. How do I jump? Here we go. Let's jump it. Ah, uh, shall we? No, I got two minutes left. Let's just keep walking. Right. Blah! Blah! Okay, they don't need to keep playing that. I picked up like 12 of them. Blah! Okay, there was no... There wasn't another one. So I should fight. Have to hurry. Okay, I'm trying. Where are oh, the... It's double L3. Oh, it's on the bottom right of my screen. I should have seen that. Oh, no wonder they got so many peacock feathers. I don't know if I should get into this because time is running out and I don't know if I'm going to do another video. So let's just hold back and have a look around. Nope. Can't go that way. This game is amazing. Uh, it's easily one of the most complete games you can buy. So much value for money. The developers just aren't greedy assholes and they deserve all the rewards for that. Compare them to a company like EA when they're just shh, nickel and diming, completely shilling this new Battlefront 2 with just the compulsive need to extract as much money by making the game as unf unfulfilling as possible, making it so slow to progress that you're just forced to pay money. Like, you just think, you fucking assholes, will you please? Like, you're selling that game. You are selling it. It's not a free game. You are selling it. How dare you treat your customers like that? So they deserve everything that's happening right now. And I know people are like, oh, good old Disney putting the, you know, tightening the grip on them. It's like, no, they're the ones, they're the ones enacting these changes. They just want to look like the good guys. They'll be having the conversation now at... Uh, I'm gonna call you out, but don't worry, you know, we know what's going on, really. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, why not like, comment, and subscribe? You know, 
costs you nothing. And not in that order. Subscribe, comment, then like. Okay?